Ow! Mm. If you do this thing, ah, I'm sweating from the inside, guys. My lap is okay. Just easy. Welcome back to another video, SS Farm. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that helps me that I use during my post pattern. Yes, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that helped me, everything that I use that helped me during my postpartum record. Yes, you heard me right. So, you know, during pregnancy and after pregnancy, there are places that are always affected in your body. Number one is your breast, your stomach, and your V, which is your VJJ. So I'm going to be talking about those three place, places in our body and how I manage them and what helped me during postpartum. Let's get into the video. No time to waste at all. You know I have a new baby. Before he start calling me, I have to go chat 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 chat. If you just see this face for the very first time, you are welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't just join us and leave it there. Consider the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that each time we upload a video, you will be the first person VIP. Don't know what VIP is. <laughs> if you know, you know now. Please subscribe. Subscribe, like, and share. And for all our returning subscribers, you guys are the, the bomb.com. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch our video. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much. God bless you all. That being said, number one place that we're going to start with this is like this, like this, like this. Let's start from here. Breast. So, you know, during pregnancy, uh, your breast is heavy and all that because milk is accumulating and all that. Then after uh, delivery, your breast is going to hurt. It's going to hurt when you are breastfeeding the baby. It might not be in all of your children because I didn't experience it with my three children. Is the last one when I was breastfeeding, uh, breastfeeding Kian after giving birth to him. I started feeling this excruciating pain in my abdomen. I was now wondering what is going on there. Oh, gosh, why am I feeling this pain? The pain was too much, and I called the nurse. They came and they were like, uh, that's my uterus contracting. I'm like, yes, I know my uterus is contracting. So why the pain? Why am I feeling the pain? Am I supposed to be feeling pain when my uterus is contracting? As the baby is sucking it, my uterus is contracting back. So that caused me pain in my abdomen. I did not know that before. What helped me during that process was boom! Waist trainer. When I was going to the hospital, I went with this waist trainer. This is the Kim Kardashian waist trainer. This is the size 5SL, you know, 5SL is so big. I'm happy now. I am now using SL. Mm, that is the that's a go for me. It's a go, it's a go, it's a go, it's a go, it's a go. Yes, it's a go from 5SL to SL. That is a go for me. If it's not a go for you, I don't know. It's a go for me. So this was what helped me. When that my tummy was paining me, I was feeling that annoying contraction that was causing me pain. All I did was to wrap my waist train around my waist you know then boom boom lock it up then i wore my waist trainer so when i wear my uh, waist trainer it supports my contracting uterus it put pressure in it that's when i'm breastfeeding baby that pain i'm supposed to be feeling as if it is pumping something is dragging me like menstrual pain and all that more painful than that this puts pressure in my tummy like constrict everything together i was not feeling the pain i was breastfeeding my baby with ease boom that was what helped me when i was feeling that pain so that being said another thing we are still on breast second thing that you need to know about your breast during postpartum is your nipple is going to crack mm -hmm. your nipple is going to your nipple is going to crack during breastfeeding and that is when some mom like it's so frustrating i can't bear it anymore i have to quit breastfeeding i didn't know this thing hot like hair i'm not breastfeeding baby anymore sometimes you're gonna have a sore nipple you're still not gonna quit breastfeeding you're gonna breastfeed the baby then look at the solution here bam <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see it but it is written here la Signore lanolin lanolin hpa lanolin so l-a-n-o-l-i-n i'm gonna put it in the description but this lanolin works so good look guys it's like um it's like vaseline look it's thick like vaseline yeah it's like vaseline so uh, sometimes i use it in my lip you know i hate dry lips 
So once my nipple was feeling cracked, my nipple was cracked, I was feeling pain when I was breastfeeding my baby. What I do is take like this, a little like this, rub it together like this, just like this, bring out my nipple, rub it here, rub it here. What I love most about this product is it's safe. It's not a, this video is not sponsored, it's not a sponsored video. Everything I shared here is based on me, based on what I use, based on what helped me, and I want my family to know because most of you new mothers have been leaving me questions here and there. So I'm trying to tackle some here. This was what worked for me. So when you rub it on your nipple, it is safe for breastfeeding. It is safe during, after. Yeah, before you breastfeed the baby, you rub it in. It's safe. After breastfeeding, you rub it in. It's safe. Yes, guys, it's very safe for the baby. That's what I love most about it. So most of you, sometimes when I make a video like this, you guys, some of you don't have patience to watch the video. You'll still be asking me questions again. Eh, eh, is it safe for the baby? If you have just watched the video, maybe you will know it's safe for the baby. Try and watch the video. At the end, you will see that most of your questions have been answered in the video. But if you don't have the patience to watch the video, then you are still leaving me the same question again, and I'm still answering again in the comment section. Boring! So be patient enough to watch the video. Don't forget when you are breastfeeding to clean your nipple, and don't even forget during pregnancy, always clean, clean your nipple before the baby. That is the preparation of your breast. Once you are pregnant, clean your nipple often. Clean it. Just clean it with the cutting board. Then you drag the nipple out. That will help you stimulate breast milk. So that as soon as you put to bed, you will not be like those mothers that will be like, Oh, my breast milk did not come out. Oh, my breast milk did not come out. Because when I was pregnant of my first daughter, all I do to my breast is clean the nipple, clean the nipple, then drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, stimulating my nipple. As soon as I gave birth to my daughter, breast milk was flowing like a river. That's it. That's it, guys. Another thing you need to know about my tummy, as soon as I left the hospital and I got to, my husband was massaging my tummy with hot water. Yeah, press my tummy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. press my tummy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. press it with hot water. And I also did not just leave my tummy to be flabbing and walking up and down, wobbly wobbling because the baby just left the tummy. I would always put on something that compresses my tummy, like, yeah, just put pressure there. Uh -huh. Not like leaving my tummy to just be going dabba dabba. No, I didn't do that. I was, I, I, I always put things to just put my tummy together in shape, something like that, something that compresses it, yeah, but not something that will make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I am not doubly waist training right now, but after six months, because I'm taking time, I'm taking my time, I am not uh, dieting, mm -mm. I am not doing any rigorous exercise, because one day I tried one rigorous exercise, when I was done with it, I was feeling pain in my lap, I was feeling pain in my tummy, I was feeling pain in my chest, that means my body is not completely healed. So I don't want to overdo anything that will not make me leave my children behind. No, that's not me. I'm taking my time. Once in a while, I dance. Mm -hmm. I dance for fun. Those are also that, that I'm also shedding fat when I'm doing all those dance and fun exercise. But uh, I'm still eating. I'm eating healthy. I'm eating normal. I'm not dieting. But after six months, that you know, I'm doing an exclusive breastfeeding. When Kian is done, I know that I can now substitute uh, breast. I will not start giving him food after six months. He's eating and he's sucking breast. Then I can start omitting some food. Then I can start doing rigorous exercise. By six months, my body should be healed. Me, I do me. I don't do other person. It could be that, oh, I get back the same time with this person. This person is now looking like sweet system. Taking my time. Look sweet system all you, all you want. I can look sweet system three years coming. If you know, you know. That is me. I do me all the time. So that being said, now we're going to move from my tummy to the real thing, which is the VJJ, where the baby poo, where the baby came out from. That place hot. After pushing the baby, it's going on hot. And in my own case, when I was pushing the baby, the baby gave me a tear. They did not give me episode. I'm sorry. Let me not be saying episode on me. They did not give me tear by themselves. Um. The baby, the baby gave me a tear as I was pushing the baby. Pew, pew, the baby teared on his own. So that treatment, what helped me is what I'm going to be telling you people. Number one thing that helped me is this. This cleansing bottle helped me a lot. This was the number one thing that helped me. All I need to do because I have that tear and they stitch it up 
what all you need to do is after using the washroom fill it up with warm water not something that can burn you something that you can cope with fill it up with warm water after using the toilet because of the suture you're not just going to grab a tissue and start wiping you're going to feel pain and all that so you're going to grab this one fill it up then you go you go you put it like like this you see it has holes you go in your vijay like this you press it it helps you rinse it it rinse from the inside and rinse the outward so if that water is not enough fill it up again then rinse once i am now done that is when i got i get my soft soft towel oh i don't have it here you damp you damp 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 then the place will be dry then you put on your so you know after delivering the quantity of blood that comes out from your vjj uh, is different from the quantity of blood you will see on the regular menstruation so now what really helped me was this always here okay, okay. so let me show you how it's looking this is how it looks so I just this is the extra large so you can buy large but because when I was pregnant I was so big my tummy was big I don't like inconveniences so I bought this one it's big let me turn the inside this is how the inside is looking you see it's so comfortable guys but before you put it on all you need to do is buy this and buy this so have one of this open it up spread it inside then you put it on ah you'll be so comfortable no stain no stain at all you will be so comfy no stain you will not wet the bed or have any accident at all i was so comfy using this and i measured it for more than one month yes so you know as it progresses the blood reduces so when the blood start reducing i measured it for more than one month so when the blood start reducing and i switch from that to this this is another comfy pan that i bought yeah look at it so it can extend all the way to my tummy so it will put pressure in my tummy like i said before so that my tummy will not be going down bam down bam down bam yeah so look at it then what i do with this is grab this then i now switch my pad to this you can either use this or you can use this always so either one of them spread it here then you're good to go so that was how I was able to maintain my flow during one month plus no accident no smelling when I use the washroom I I use this to clean up with time when I got healed I was able to like I started using uh, things to clean uh, clean myself up but fill this up with hot water rinse yourself out then dump yourself dry put your pad back on once you use the washroom again you change your pad you discard those ones because you just put to bed and you are menstruating does not mean that you should have order mm -mm. baby is puking all over your body when baby puke change your clothes change your pad smell good use roll on use perfume wear spray smell good your husband might not be doing the dingo dingo but he can cuddle you you guys can still smush if you know you know but he's not going down there but you smell good you look attractive not because you are not menstruating and then you put, you just do zabuza mm -mm. that's not how it work so another thing that i did was like i said i don't leave my breast flying up and down I will always, I don't use bra at home, but I will always wear something like this just to put my breasts together. You don't want a situation whereby after nursing your children and your breasts will just come to all the way to your leg. No, I know that is nature, it must fall, nothing can prevent it. Whether the devil like it or not, it must go down. But at least help yourself, wear things like this, use this, use this. Yes, wear things like this when you are at home. Don't just leave, leave it to be flabby, flabby. Ah, ah. So later, you will not be finding your breasts in your tummy. But when you use all these things to support them now that you are still breastfeeding, now that you are still doing all this, you are breastfeeding, when you uh, later that you are no longer giving birth, you will still see that your body is still intact. Everywhere is not just completely loose. If you understand, you get it? A capito, see you now. <laughs> okay, so this is another waist trainer. I switched from five, uh, size 5 SL to size 3 SL. This is size 3 SL. From size 3 SL, I now switched to large. Right now, no, I now switched to extra large. Right now, I'm still on extra large. Very soon, hopefully, 
I might be moving from extra large to large. That is how I will strain. I don't just go and buy small and start compressing myself as if I'm not to die. I'm not going to die. So, then, my husband will press my tummy with this towel, boiled water, put in the bucket, soak something like this, then place it on my tummy. Press, press, press. That is our native way. Yes. So that being said, we're not going to move to the VJJ. That's the VJJ we are already into. We will boil hot water, pour the hot water in the bucket, take a little bit of abolic key. This is abolic balm. Abolic balm, you can find it in any African store. If you cannot find abolic balm, you go for vapor rub. Vapor rub is everywhere in abroad. So here yeah, in diaspora. Here you go. If you don't find this, you use this. They work the same. So what I normally do when I boil that, I'm gonna show you guys the example. Boil the hot water, put a little bit of this in it, then you sit on it and cover yourself. But when I show you the example, you understand. That stimulates your uterus. That heal your V, like your VJ, it heals it from the inside. Oh my God. When your husband eventually resumes duty, it will look as if you have not pushed, you have not done anything. So, when I gave birth to my daughter, I did not know when to resume. I actually waited for three months plus. I did not resume. I did not know how to ask my mother, when is it safe for you to go back? And my husband, on the other hand, was also scared. I was scared. Both of us were scared together. I don't, I just saw a, that was my first time. I saw my a human head pop out from my V, from my VJJ. So I had that phobia and that feeling that, oh, huh, this man will just go for people for gutter. If you want to just go, you go direct. Ah, nothing they wear jam at all. So I had that phobia. So I did not resume duty one month, two months, three months. I did not resume duty. So eventually we did it. Then I'm like, ah, oh, so okay. After three months, it is safe. But when I came here and I gave back to my son, they told me here that a month and two weeks is safe for you to resume duty. But that's not me. That's not me at all. So I still waited. I waited for two months plus. That was what I did. Now, Kian is two months. We are still waiting. So I'm still doing my hot water process, which I'm going to show you people. I, I keep using the hot water. This thing is not running away now. This man is stuck here forever. So we have to take our time and treat it so that eventually when you resume duty, it will look as if you have not pushed anything out. So I will show you what I do, how I put, do the hot water, how I sit on it until it is cold, how I follow the process. That is your VJJ better than any other. That is the traditional way of getting your VJJ back before you eventually resume duty. If you like this video, what did I say? Subscribe, like, share. All new moms that don't know the do's and don'ts, what to use and what not to use, how to take care of themselves in, uh, after bed, please watch this video. And if you watch this video, share the video so that more people will get to know because I have visited some women that just gave birth. They will be having funny odor because they just gave birth to baby. They, are both, they will be smelling funny. Mm -mm. Bath, use roll on, smell good, wash here. When you, when, when each time you use the washroom, discard that pad, wear another one, smell good. No be you fair born, I beg. So that being said, I will show you guys how I use the hot water. So after boiling the hot water, this is the aboliki. You just open it, abolic bam. Then take a little because it's really hot. You gonna put too many. <laughs> Yo, VJJ, no go fit container. Bro. We go give you go do you la la. See ya. Oh wow! I can even feel it in my face. So just you see. This is the quantity we, that, I, that I used. So, your babe, your girl, is going to sit. Sit? I will start Kunja. <laughs> so, guys, you have to remove your underwear and sit here. Mm -hmm. So, don't sit with your underwear. So, that's exactly what I'm doing. You have to bear. Like I said, I'm here, it's roasting me like. You have the urge as if you want to wee wee. You can always rush to your washroom to wee wee. You remember how I told you guys that Ooh, when I came here, then I said you can wait for one month and two weeks before you and your husband can be servicing each other. So if you feel like, ah, baby, <laughs> if you know that you and your husband cannot wait, do your thing, don't say SS1, say so. Ah, baby, 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 ah,
I'm sweating from the inside, guys. Only from the inside, like. Ooh, 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 ooh. My laptop is just say it's Tana Hilly. Yeah, yeah. You see? If your own is like that, you get up just the way like this. And you go back again, oh. And start steaming. Hey, t uh, let the steam go in. You have to be at oh. home. Yeah, but don't worry about yourself. If it's getting too much, you get up. If it's getting too much, you get up. So this is how I'm going to sit and get up, sit and get up, sit and get up until. The water is completely cold. You won't feel the steam anymore. Then you know. <laughs> then you go back. Hmm. So you can do this once daily. Like when I get back to my daughter in Nigeria, if I if I bathe in the morning, my mom will bring it. If I bathe in the evening, I'll do it again. Like that was like. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Go on. Check. Go on. Look at this me. But here, I was doing it once, no, once in the no, day. Leave Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, once in a day, guys. Once in a day. You can do it like this. Rose, uh, take care of yourself like this for like one month or two weeks. You are good. But you can do it too, like, till you resume duty. Even after you resume, once in a while, just do it. That would be great. So, thank you so much for always watching SSM. We love you all. God bless you. Peace, we.